Work continues on Clallam County PUD's Airport Road to Cherry Street transmission rebuild consisting of the replacement of 27 power pole structures. One of the more challenging aspects of the project is the replacement of four eight structures holding up two very long spans of utility lines. Two eight structures support a 783 foot span over Valley Creek and two more support a 1275 foot span over Tumwater Creek. The eight structure on the east end of the project is the first to be built. The structure is built following very detailed construction specifications which detail every attachment and every piece of equipment used to build the structure. This first eight structure, which also supports City of Port Angeles utilities, fully built is an impressive structure standing high into the air. Next, the structure on the opposite side of Valley Creek, consisting of two 60-foot poles, also rises high into the air. Two intermediate structures supporting conductors in between the two valley crossings are built in rapid succession. When building this pole, crews must work around energized lines supplying customers on Black Diamond Road. One by one, the march of pole construction continues. Next in line is the structure supporting the 1,275 foot span across Tumwater Creek. Contracted by Clallam County PUD to do the work, Titan power line construction crews are skilled and proficient, making complicated work look seemingly easy as the construction continues. The third eight structure is fully constructed and stands ready to support new conductors. Lastly, the fourth and final eight structure, holding up the longest span of the project, begins construction. Even though all of the lines are completely de-energized, safety grounds are hung for the crew's protection. Two 60-foot poles for the structure are quickly anchored eight feet deep into the ground and checked to be straight and true in the air. Cross arms are brought into position and all of the insulators and mounting hardware are installed while on the ground. The cross arm is then lifted into the air and securely fastened to the pole. The old western red cedar pole, having served its nearly 50 year duty, is cut down piece by piece and all of the equipment removed from it. The final aid structure now also stands ready to support new conductors. Next comes the task of pulling in new conductors. The Valley Creek crossing is the first to be pulled. Almost one inch in diameter, a 556 ACSR conductor is brought in on spools containing nearly one mile of conductor each. The spool of wire is placed into the bull wheel tensioning machine. A wire pulling machine which will do the work of pulling the heavy conductor is brought to the site. The wire is threaded into the bull wheel tensioner which maintains tension on the line and prevents it from free spooling as it is pulled. Nearly one inch in diameter and weighing three quarters of a pound per foot, the wire is capable of carrying a significant quantity of power. The new conductor is attached to the old conductor, which will then be used to pull the new conductor across the Valley Creek Canyon. The next wire section to be pulled in is 2,132 feet long. Wheels to pull the wires over are installed at every wire attachment point on each pole. The bull wheel is loaded with wire and will keep an adjustable tension on the line throughout the entire line pole. Requiring seven wires at 2,132 feet long each, 2.8 miles of conductor in total is required for this pole. A pulling sleeve, called a sock in lineman slang, is placed over the wire. The harder the sock is pulled, the more it constricts around the wire, gripping it harder. Excess wire is cut off. The old wire is now securely tied to the new wire and the pull is ready to begin. The first wire pull has begun with the bull wheel slowly paying out line and maintaining tension. While the cable puller slowly reels the line in from the end of the wire pull. As the line is pulled out across the Tumwater Canyon, the weight of wire being held in the air increases. 
held tight at a very high tension, losing control of this wire is dangerous and not an option. The end of the new wire is marked so crews can follow its progress through the pulling wheels. The cable dances in the air high above the canyon as it is slowly paid out on one side and reeled in on the other. In constant communication, crews carefully watch for any problems during the pull. The wire makes a steady progression through the pulling wheels. The cable puller continues its relentless pull as the tensioner slowly feeds it line. The wire dance is repeated six more times for a total of seven times pulling wire across the canyon, slowly rising and falling in the air. The new wire arrives at the opposite side of the Tumwater Canyon. Looking back across, there is now nearly 1,000 pounds of wire hanging in the air for one conductor. Alignment on the ground monitors the cable as it passes through every pulling wheel. With the cables all pulled in, the final and most important step is pulling each one of them up to a high enough tension that it will maintain a minimum clearance above ground under all conditions. Conductor sag will vary depending on varying weather conditions. Conductor sag is a measurement of how far below the two points of attachment a conductor will fall to. Pulling up the cable completely flat is not possible due to the extreme forces that would require. Conductor sag varies greatly with temperature. For this 1,275 foot span, the difference in sag between 0 and 120 degrees is over 12 feet due to the expansion and contraction of the metal wire. Sag charts for the type of cable being used show what the wire, sag, and tension will be at varying temperatures. For this example, on a 73 degree day, the conductor will sag over 31 feet and have a tension over 4,800 pounds. To measure this sag, the poles are marked below the wire attachment point to where the sag should be, in this case, 31.5 feet below. An optical sighting instrument is attached to one pole at the sag distance. Sighting across to the sag point marked on the opposite pole, a reference plane is established and the foreman in charge of the job will pull the wire up tight until it matches this sag plane. Seven conductors hanging symmetrically together in the air is a beautiful sight. These conductors will be an essential part of delivering reliable power to Clallam PUD customers for decades into the future.